Hi friends, the Thack here for the noobs, and I bring good news for you. With the launch of Season 3 in Cold War, we have new possibilities for the Wonder Weapon in Outbreak. I'm going to show you exactly where to find the upgrades, and what they look like if you've not seen them before. You can now get the weapon upgrades for the Die Weapon, as I mentioned. Previously, when you got the Die Weapon, you were stuck with the Die Shockwave, and you didn't have the possibility to upgrade it like you can do in the other maps, for example on Die Machine. However, with Season 3 and the updates that it's brought, you can now upgrade the die weapon. I'm going to show you exactly where you can find them on each of the maps. Now only four out of the five maps do actually have the upgrades available and each map has one specific upgrade. So you need to make sure you go to the right map for the upgrade that you want to find. Now before you get any of these upgrades, the first thing you need to do is actually get a die shockwave. Now there are different ways you can do this. You can either get them from the mystery box, find a golden chest, find it from a boss zombie like Megaton, or get it from the Trials. Now from my experience, I would say the Trials is the easiest way to do it. If you get your trial to Legendary, you have a really good chance of getting the Die Shockwave. And I'll be honest, every time I've done it and got this weapon, I've done it through the Trials. The other good thing is that it usually works around round 1 or 2, and if like the other method, don't tend to give the Die Weapon until later rounds. Once you've got your die weapon, you'll need to find a green box like this on each of the maps to find your upgrade. The electric upgrade is called the Electrobolt, and this upgrade is found on the new map that's come with Season 3 on Outbreak called Duga. For this new map, you need to find the scaffolding type structure in the middle of the map. It's kind of hard to miss, it's a really big structure near the middle of the map. If you get right to the top of it, run to the far right hand side. There are actually two parts here. So if you're on the wrong side, have no fear, you can zipline across. Once you get to the far side, have a look around, in the corner you should find this green chest. You'll be able to press your action button on the green chest. Now a top tip here is make sure you're holding your die weapon, otherwise it won't swap and it will just give you a message that says you do not have the required weapon. So make sure you are actually holding your die weapon when you go up to the green box. Now if you press your action button, you will pick out the electro bolt upgrade, and once you've done this, you will now transform your weapon into the Die Electro Bolt, which is a very cool, powerful wonder weapon. It shoots out this electrical beam that's really great for wiping out hordes of zombies as well as big bosses. So that's the first upgrade that we got. The second one is the Ice Upgrade. This one's called the Cryo Emitter, and you can find it on Alpine. You need to get to the upper highway. Usually there's a jump pad icon there on the map, so you can use that for guidance. Simply get to this area, and you can find a frozen over lake. There should be a green chest in the middle of the lake. Head over to it, and again, make sure you've got your die weapon out, because you can then press your action button to take the upgrade. This will then switch out whatever mod you've got, whether it's the original die weapon in the form of a die shockwave, or if it's one of the other upgrades, you will just swap it out for this ice upgrade. Now this one shoots a really cool ice beam, the cool thing about this one is that it actually freezes zombies, it even freezes the big boss zombies, so it's a really useful weapon to have. Next we've got the fire upgrade, and this can be found in Ruka. Make sure you get to the burnt forest in Ruka, the top side of the burnt forest, you will find again that green chest. Simply press your action button to open the green chest and take the upgrade. Now this weapon upgrade fires a big firebolt out of the wonder weapon. And the damage output is fairly decent, but you definitely don't have as much ammo with the previous two upgrades I've just showed you. The final upgrade is the Nova 5 gas upgrade, and this can be found on Glover. Make it to the west side of Glover, where there are these massive tankers. You need to get on top of the left tanker, either by running up the pipes or climbing up the ladder. Once you get up there, there should be a green chest right on top which has the Nova 5 upgrade. Now this one, like I mentioned, fires a big gas bomb, similar in diameter to the fire one or the original die shockwave, however it does residual damage if enemies run through the gas cloud. It does a lot of damage, but it can be quite hard to get enemies to stay in the glass cloud to take the damage. I'll be honest, I found this one a little bit tricky to master, because you don't get as much ammo as something like the Electro Bolt, and you have to be quite precise with your firing. Now here's a top tip. Once you swap out for an upgrade, when you swap back, it will just give you the die shockwave back. So make sure 100% you really want that upgrade before you take it. For example, if you had an electrobolt and you swap it out for the cryoemitter, you're stuck with the cryoemitter or the shockwave. If you try and swap the cryoemitter back, it won't give you the electrobolt back, it will just give you the shockwave. So do be careful of this. Make sure you really want that upgrade that you're trying to switch to. Personally, I would say the electrobolt is the best. It does the most damage and you get so much ammo with it compared to the others. 
A good second choice is the ice upgrade in the cryo emitter because it actually freezes enemies, so it slows them down. If you're low health, it gives you a little chance to run away and heal up, which you can really use to get deep into the rounds. So that's how you find the upgrades. Like I said, they're available in four out of the five maps. Each map has the specific upgrades I've showed you in this video. So go check them out, have some fun with it. These weapons will definitely help you. For now though, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.